Welcome to the Prince of Wales Cardiothoracic Surgical Department. My name is Dr Peter Grant and I'm the Director of the Department of Cardiothoracic Surgery. We understand that you may be very anxious about your upcoming heart surgery and must have many questions. In the following film, we would like to introduce you to our hospital and show you some of the stages you will go through during your stay with us. Once you have watched the film, it is important that you ask us any questions you have about any aspect of your surgery or post-operative care. The better prepared you are for your stay, the smoother it will be. My name is Genevieve and I'm the clinical nurse consultant. I'm here to explain what will happen when you come to hospital for your upcoming heart surgery. Today we'll look at what to expect, how to prepare and what will happen while you're in hospital. We'll also let you know what you can do to help with your recovery. Before your surgery, you will be given an appointment to attend the cardiothoracic pre-evaluation clinic. Here you will be seen by anaesthetic and cardiothoracic doctors who will do a physical examination and ask you about your medical history. Nurses will also talk with you to start planning for your hospital stay, as well as making sure that you know what help you'll need when you go home. A physiotherapist will teach you some breathing exercises and activities which will help with your recovery. Before your pre-evaluation clinic visit, you will need to see your local doctor to arrange a chest x-ray and some routine blood tests. The nurse who coordinates the clinic will let you know when these should be done. Please bring your x-ray and blood test results with you when you come to the clinic. If your surgery is on the valves of your heart, you will also need to see a dentist for a thorough examination of your teeth and gums. You will need to ask your dentist to complete a dental clearance form. Please bring this with you when you come to your clinic appointment. If you're already in hospital before your surgery, all necessary tests will be arranged for you in hospital. Hi, my name is Amelia and I'm a cardiac anaesthetist at Prince of Wales. My job is to keep you safe, stable, unconscious and free of pain during your surgery. This involves keeping a very close watch on your vital signs, which includes your heartbeat, your breathing, your blood pressure, and giving you an anaesthetic that's adjusted to your needs. One of the anaesthetic doctors will meet you before your surgery. At the clinic, the anaesthetist will briefly examine you and will review the results of the tests that you have had. They will ask you about your heart problem, your general health, and about any operations you've had in the past. They'll also want to know what medicines you are taking currently, as well as if you have any allergy or problems with any medicines or have with having an anaesthetic previously. They will answer any questions or concerns you may have about the anaesthesia or the recovery period. While you're at the clinic, some additional tests will be done, including an electrocardiogram and an ultrasound of your heart. We will also test your lung function and do some more blood tests. If English is not your first language, we can organise an interpreter to help you to fully understand what will happen and ensure that you are given the opportunity to ask any question and give informed consent. After your appointment, as long as you're well enough, you do not need to come back into hospital until the day of your surgery. One of the cardiothoracic doctors will let you know if you need to be admitted to hospital before this time. The afternoon before your operation, you will need to phone the perioperative unit nurse to find out what time you will need to be at the hospital. You'll be given the phone number to ring at your pre-evaluation clinic appointment. The nurse will remind you about the anaesthetist's instructions, including not having anything to eat or drink, not even water, after midnight. They will also tell you which of your normal medicines you need to take before coming into hospital. If you do need to take some of your tablets, you may have these with a small sip of water. To help reduce the chance of infection, you will need to shower with antibacterial soap on the night before and the morning of your operation. You will be given this soap at the pre-evaluation clinic. On the morning of your operation, you will need to go to the admissions office. It is preferable the family member or friend comes with you to the hospital. You will then be taken to the perioperative unit. This is where you will be prepared for the operation. Before you are taken to the operating theatre, you will be given some pre-surgery medicine. This is usually an injection that will make you feel calm and sleepy. When you are ready, one of the perioperative nurses will take you to the operating theatre. A family member or friend may accompany you to the door of the theatre suite. When you arrive, you will be met by an anaesthetic nurse who will ask your name and the operation you're having before taking you to the anaesthetic room. You will probably not remember anything else after this point until you wake up in the cardiac intensive care unit after the surgery is over. Hi, my name is Megan and I'm the nursing unit manager of the cardiothoracic intensive care unit. 
The nursing staff, along with the intensive care doctors, will be responsible for caring for you once you have left the operating theatre. We believe that the purpose of cardiothoracic nursing is to provide excellent holistic care to ensure the best possible outcome for you. When you arrive from the operating theatre, you will still be asleep. You will have a breathing tube in your mouth and you will be connected to a machine called a ventilator which will help you to breathe. You will also be attached to a monitor which will enable us to continuously assess all of your vital signs. While you are in our unit, one of our nurses will be assigned to care for you and will be close to your bed at all times. When you start to wake up, you will hear many different noises and alarms. They will sound something like this. Please don't be anxious about these noises. They are there to let the nurses know about any changes to your vital signs. Just because an alarm has sounded, it does not necessarily mean that anything is wrong. You won't be able to talk with the breathing tube in, however the nurses in intensive care are skilled at communicating with patients with breathing tubes. They will talk to you and reassure you during this time. They will ask you questions that you can shake or nod your head to, for example, do you have any pain? If so, you'll be given extra pain medication to relieve any pain you have. Once you are awake, you'll be able to breathe on your own and the breathing tube will be removed. You will have at least two drains coming out of your chest. They are there to help re-expand your lungs and to drain blood from around your heart. These drains are usually removed a day or two after your operation. You will have several drip lines to give you medications and fluids. Some of these may be taken out the day after your operation and most within a couple of days. You will also have a tube in your bladder called a catheter and this enables the nurses to monitor how much urine you are making. Having a catheter in may feel a little uncomfortable at first and you may feel like you constantly need to urinate. This sensation is normal and will soon pass. The catheter will usually be removed a couple of days after your surgery and you should then be able to urinate normally. Visitors are welcome in the cardiothoracic intensive care unit, however we will not permit more than two visitors at your bedside at a time. On the day of your operation you will be able to have visitors fairly soon after you are brought out from the operating theatre, however you will probably still be unconscious at this stage. Visitors should come to this door on level 3 and press the white intercom button. A staff member will then let them into the waiting room. There are several times in the unit, for example during medical and physiotherapy rounds, when visitors may have to wait before being allowed in. However, the staff will always try to let visitors in as soon as possible. Your family are also welcome to phone the unit at any time. As the staff will be busy looking after you, we ask that one family member be responsible for calling and that the rest of the family contact this person for information. Please keep in mind that due to privacy laws, the nurses cannot give out detailed information about any patient's condition over the phone. You will stay in the cardiothoracic intensive care unit at least overnight and maybe longer if needed. Having an incision through your breastbone and having drains in your chest can cause pain which stops you from being able to breathe normally. It is very important post-op that you can do the deep breathing and coughing exercises set out by the physio. If at any time you are unable to deep breathe or cough because of pain, you need to let your nurse know so that they can give you some pain relieving medicine. You do not need to worry about becoming addicted to the pain medicines we give you. You will be using it only briefly and your need for it will decrease after the first few days. Once you are well enough, usually a day or two after the surgery, you will be sitting out of bed and able to eat and drink normally. You should sit out of bed as much as possible and also practice the breathing and coughing exercises that the physiotherapist will show you. This will help your lungs to recover from your surgery. Most patients are well enough to be sent to the cardiothoracic ward one to two days after their operation. Hi, my name is Katie and I'm a physiotherapist. My job is to help you after your operation with exercise and to keep your lungs working well. After your operation, it's very important to get moving as soon as possible, as moving will keep your lungs working properly and reduce the risk of lung problems developing after your operation. 
Your physiotherapist will help you with walking, moving your arms and teach you how to protect the wound in your chest. On the day after your operation, your physiotherapist will teach you breathing and coughing exercises. Your physiotherapist and your nurse will come to help you get out of bed and sit in a chair. If you're well enough on the first or second day after your surgery, the physiotherapist may help you with standing exercises and take you on a short walk. Your breastbone is cut during the operation, so it will take six to eight weeks to heal properly. To assist the bone to heal, you'll not be able to use your arms to get in and out of bed or when you're standing up from a chair. You should also not lift anything heavier than two to four kilos until your breastbone has completely healed. Hi, my name is Meg and I'm the nursing unit manager of the cardiothoracic ward, Dickinson 3 South. After you leave the cardiothoracic intensive care unit, you'll be transferred to our ward where you will stay until you leave hospital. In Dickinson 3 South, we believe in providing high quality, holistic care to support you to have the best recovery from your heart surgery possible. Our ward is very different from the cardiothoracic intensive care unit. In our ward, you will most likely be sharing a room with three other people. For the first few days, you will still be on a cardiac monitor and you may, depending on your condition, still have oxygen tubing, a drip, a bladder catheter and chest drains. You will be under the care of the cardiothoracic doctors who will see you each day. They will ask you how you are feeling and keep you informed of how you are progressing and let you know when you will be able to go home. Please feel free to ask them any questions you may have about any aspect of your care or recovery. You will be weighed every day. This is to monitor the amount of excess fluid your body is carrying. You may have an initial weight gain of around 5 kilograms after your surgery and you may also notice some swelling of your fingers and ankles due to fluid retention. This is completely normal. Your body will gradually get rid of excess fluid and you will see a reduction in your swelling and body weight as the days go by. Once you are moved to the cardiothoracic ward, the physiotherapist will continue to walk with you until you are able to walk alone safely. Each day you'll walk a little bit further and on the fourth or fifth day after your surgery, the physiotherapist will take you on a walk on the stairs. By this time you're almost ready to go home. Before you go home, your physiotherapist will talk to you about walking and other exercises that you should do after leaving hospital until you can join the cardiac rehabilitation group nearest to your home. It is normal to feel tired and to suffer some disturbance to your usual sleep patterns during your recovery. Making sure you continue to take your pain relief medicine regularly, even after you go home, can help you to have a restful night's sleep. It is also important that you try to have a rest during the day while you are recovering. In the ward, we have a rest period between 1pm and 3pm. During this time, we do not allow visitors. Please let your friends and relatives know that visiting hours are between 10am and 1pm, then 3pm and 8pm. You may experience nausea and some loss of appetite during your recovery, mostly due to medicines you are taking. This is normal and should settle down after a couple of weeks. It is also common to become constipated while recovering from surgery. Your nurse will offer you gentle laxatives to help relieve this. Eating a high fibre diet, drinking lots of water and gently increasing your activity will also help to improve the function of your bowels. You will have dressings over your wounds which will remain on for about one week after the surgery. Once the dressings are removed, the wounds will already be beginning to heal. It is unlikely you will need any kind of dressings once you go home. You will just need to keep them clean and dry. If, however, further wound management is required, we will refer you to a community nurse prior to you going home. You will need to wear support stockings for six weeks after surgery. This is to reduce the risk of getting a blood clot in your leg. Your nurse will help you to put these stockings on in hospital and will show you the correct way to put them on yourself at home. Most patients who have had cardiac surgery will be well enough to go home six to 10 days after having surgery. You will need someone to stay with you for the first two weeks back at home. If you live alone or are frail, you may need some additional help. Your doctors, nurses and physiotherapists will ask you about your home situation and organise help if it is needed. On the day of your discharge from hospital, your nurse will talk to you about your medicines, how active you should be, wound care and follow-up appointments with your local doctor, cardiologist and cardiac surgeon. Even if you came to hospital by ambulance, 
you will need to organise for a family member or friend to collect you from hospital when you go home. If you are planning on flying home, please be aware that you cannot fly for 10 days after heart surgery, so you may need to make arrangements for alternative accommodation until you are well enough to fly. During your recovery on Dickinson 3 South, if you or your family have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to speak with me. We look forward to caring for you following your surgery. We thank you for taking the time to watch this film and hope that it has helped you to feel more prepared for and hopefully less anxious about your surgery. If you have any questions which have not been answered by watching this film, please feel free to ask your GP or members of the cardiothoracic team when you come to the pre-assessment clinic. If you're already in hospital, you can talk to the nurses and doctors caring for you. We wish you well for your surgery and recovery.